Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today I am going to show you how to clean your bike without a pressure washer. A lot of dirt is clinged while daily commuting which may damage your paint job. So at least wash your bike once in a week. So let me show you how to do it. You need a bucket full of water, a car shampoo, a cloth, an old toothbrush, an old kitchen scrubber and this, this is a manual pressure pump. Let me show you how to use it. Fill it up to 75% mark. Now close it and pump air into it. Start spraying on the upper body first. Now spray on the lower dirty part. It doesn't create a high pressure, so we need to do the detail cleaning later with a brush. Now spray on the rims, front suspension and tires. And then the rear wheels, rims and silencer. This is a 3M car shampoo. I recommend to use this. It doesn't leave any residue behind and I found it very useful. You have to take approximately 5ml of it. Now fill it with water up to 50% mark. Start spraying on the top body surface of the bike. The advantage of using a manual pressure pump is that you can avoid an extra bucket for shampoo. Also you can reach those areas where you can't put your hands. Spray on the other parts as well. Now wipe off the shampoo with water. A lot of dirt gets cleaned near the leg guard, especially if you have a shorter mud guard. These are the areas where you usually miss out. Spray on the engine as well. Usually you will find oil stains in this area that will attract dirt. Try to clean each and every part. I do this every week, but if you don't find it necessary, you can do it at least once in a month. Avoid spraying on the chain. Spray only on the swing arm and sari guard. However, a good chain loop doesn't get washed off very easily. So don't get worried if you spray it accidentally. The mono suspension also gets very dirty easily. Time to clean the rims. Clean the side parts and center part. The area around the disc brake is also very dirty. Clean the disc as well. Now clean the tires with kitchen scrubber. There is no use of cleaning the center part. 
लिन ओनली द साइड पार्ट Now clean the rear tire. Now spray some water again just to make sure that there is no residue left behind. Now wipe off the water with a clean cloth. So here is the final result. It took me more than an hour to do this procedure, but I saved a hundred rupees. This is just the half job done. We need to do the wax as well, and that I'll show you in my next video. So, guys, hope you like my video. Make sure you hit the like as well as the subscribe button. You can also post your comment and suggestion in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.